is a guy who claims that in the gamble of everyday life, you can't win. Trying to get a complete rest on his day off, he's visited by a door-to-door -door salesman. This salesman sells accident insurance. It just so happens that here's one fellow who doesn't want any accident insurance. Next, the salesman attacks by phone. And why do people always phone when you're in your bath? How nice. A few days later. But folks, the solution to this problem is very simple. In such a situation, don't argue. Just use a little strategy. Pick a nearby door for a quick retreat. But be sure you pick the right door. The guy's right. You can't win. Here, an episode based on problems that confront millions of people daily. Yes, the cigarette lighter that doesn't light. However, this mechanically-minded guy decides to do something about it. He plans a cigarette lighter that will light. At the drawing board and machines, he toils tirelessly, but without success, hour after hour, day after day, week after week, month after month. Say, how long can he toil? Well, anyway, this goes on for years. And finally, 12 years later, he comes up with a lighter that should light with every flick of the thumb. Oh, but will it? Thus far, he's been a failure. Maybe this too, but courage, man, courage. Well, will it light? Eureka! Look, it works! He did it! Wow, what a flame! Well, you've heard of lighters that don't light. But look, here's a lighter you can't put out. Think I'm kidding? Our next example of the perpetual loser is the guy who complains about things to his wife. Some men complain there's too much starch in their shirts, but this mug yells because there isn't enough. He likes a well-starched shirt. Darn it, why can't she put more starch in his shirts? So, the next time, well, look at that thing. Sure, he asked for more starch, plenty of starch, but gad, he didn't order a concrete kimono. <whistles> Careful, bub. <coughs> and so, of course, he flies into a dither. <whistles> Next, let's consider the subject of washing your car. It's early Sunday morning after a rain, and you're just finishing. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I know you've guessed it, or have you? Oh, I'm sure you must have. Dear, dear, isn't that just dandy, as someone once so aptly remarked. So what to do? So you start all over again. And after you finished another cleaning job, but no, but yes. Don't waste your time, chum. That guy's busy looking at house numbers. Well, start scrubbing, mister. Come, come, take it easy. Maybe he'll lose himself. Oh, temper, temper. And thus, my friends, once again, it's clean. But look, gosh, what's the use? It's utterly hopeless, but utterly. Wait, stop. He's found his house, see? Here, my friends, we illustrate what is apt to happen should you find an old hammock in the attic and decide to use it. The first problem is where to hang the thing. Those two trees are too far apart. So, he decides to hang it here, with this result. No, I don't think this will do. In fact, I'm sure it won't. How can I be so right?
To counteract that unfortunate experience, he tries the wide setup. This doesn't seem quite right either. No, not quite. So he's hung it higher. Isn't it amazing how he figures out these things? Yep, this is a lot better. If you like falling on your face. Now let's see. If he'd hang that hammock still higher, he wouldn't fall on his face. There, at this height, if he somersaults out of that thing, he'll land on his feet. See? Just like an acrobat. But who wants to be an acrobat? The idea is to lie in that thing and relax. That's it, chum. Don't let it throw you. Now you've got the idea, fella. Easy does it. Come, come. There must be a way. And so, finally, comes the brilliant thought that by removing the wooden spreaders at each end of the hammock, well, it's a cinch. Or is it? Now, one leg at a time. Careful. Good. Now the other one. With those spreaders out, and if you take it easy, nothing can happen. Is there an aspirin in the house? And now from scratch, one more try. Okay, boxhead, listen. One thing at a time. First your head, then your arms, then your legs. Good, now the right arm. The left arm, right leg, the left leg. Wonderful. See, he's got nothing to worry about now. Goodness, could I be mistaken? I could. You can't win, folks. Goodbye now.